Right. Wait, can I, can I jump in with this one? Do you, do you remember when, uh, do you know Tommy? You know Tommy, right? Tommy. Oh, Tommy yeah, yeah. P. Oh, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. I'm sure he doesn't give a yeah. shit. I mean, he has a real career. I don't, right. This isn't going to fucking do anything to it. Right, right. So Tommy Pope. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was like Halloween, Halloween like two years ago, and I went up to him, and he was, was sitting there. there. Shut up, uh, Adam! You're not on the podcast. Man. Yeah, so I, I like a, a guy, it was like Halloween like two years ago, and uh, me and someone who's no longer on the podcast were looking for <laughs> we were looking for like blow, and so I go up to Tommy, and I was like, you know, because we didn't have a guy to buy blow off of, so I go up to Tommy, and I was like, hey man, you got a blow guy, you know. And Tommy sits there for like a half second and he like thinks about it and he goes, no, but I fucked a tranny once. <laughs> and I was like, what? And he was like, I fucked a tranny. And I was like, what the fuck? And he was like, you asked me if I ever, I've ever blown a guy. <laughs> he's like, no. I said, do you have a blow guy? And he's like, oh, uh, no, yeah, no, I don't. I'm sorry. I love that he just volunteered that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so Thought good. about it for yeah. a second. Well, the story was great. The story he told me. Oh, was, really? Yeah, he was like uh, just walking around one night, and he like went to pick up a, you know, a street walker or nice. whatever. Nice. And he picked her up, and uh, then he she was like blowing him in a bathroom, and uh, you know he's like. Uh, he was like, all right, like, uh, fuck it. Like, I want to fuck you or whatever. So she turns around and, uh, he like starts fucking her in the ass and then he like reaches around and she's got like a dick. <laughs> I didn't know the whole time. I guess he didn't know. And then he's like, and he's like, and then I just took a second and I was like, all right, fuck it. And he just, <laughs> and it That's when you know, dude, that should be the test for if you're homophobic or not. <laughs> yeah. if, like you're surprised with a dick. Yeah. What do you do? If you keep fucking, you're the best. Yeah. You're good. You're a good yeah, guy. Yeah. I love that story. That guy's great. Uh, yeah, he's funny he shit. And, he and I, well, now the cat's out of the bag on that. He and I uh, got her dick sucked by a trans woman on a roof in East Village one night. You and him? Yeah, it's Like together? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're just sitting next to each other. What standing. Of standing, of course. What the <laughs> fuck? When? Uh, a while ago. <laughs> Was this what while was, was this while you were sober? No, oh, no, no, oh, no, okay. no. I was right. I was drinking it. Uh, we this girl that I had ended up being like she. I went on a date with her and I showed up on acid, and uh, she got like weirded out by that and then stopped talking to me and then invited me to her white coat party because she just graduated. What is that? Is that like an oh, alt-right thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. And she was what having like this fuck? get together at, <laughs> you, at like, what? Why what? were you dating someone that went to medical school? We dude? weren't dating. She she saw me do comedy once. She thought uh, I was going to be like whatever. Course. Wow, years you know. ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I should know. act like then. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and uh, so we go I mean, there. It's barely past To like now. eat a dick. And so we go there there and uh we are i'm there to like be like hey things are great now melissa and we were just rotating door doing coke in the bathroom <laughs> with all these like doctors and everything wait so, you went with with tommy oh, okay. and a couple of friends of ours i like crashed you this crashed party yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. oh you're yeah. such a piece of shit so then so then we were standing outside and she's like yeah you know it's good to see you and she got in the car uh, she was like, hey, hold on one second. I was like, okay. And she just got in a cab and left with another guy. <laughs> <laughs> hold on one Rolled second. the window up and I was like, what? Melissa. And I like got so upset. I you was got like, cab cucked. That's dude. it. We're getting out of here. You so got, we were you just got, on a you mission. Got cu cuck capped. <laughs> yeah, 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 cuck cab. By Welcome ben to the cuck cab. <laughs> ben Bailey's cuck cab. You get the ben question Bailey. wrong, he fucks your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Adam, do you want to laugh at that story? Let him laugh into the mic. It was, it no, was, just no, laugh at it. Laugh at the comment on it. It was a good story. Laugh, dude. I don't have a laugh right now. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. <laughs> not, not That's it. Of, you blew it. You blew it, bitch. That was your chance to be you on the podcast. It, bitch. Um, hold on. <laughs> so, so you, so you get cab cucked, and then you just wander the streets and find a trans what, hooker by you know god was looking out for me that night because yeah. we found a good one yeah and uh somehow i don't know how we ended up on a roof <laughs> i think she suggested the yeah. roof that's why that that's why I, I, spot. I, I love all these people they're like ah, new york used to be so cool and it's like no you're just boring yeah 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 well, there's right. still plenty of cool yeah, new york no, you can still around. do a bunch you of fucking cool shit. suck you're yeah. a shitty sucky person you can sneak up onto the roof at the lantern 
you go oh, yeah? through you can get into the apartments through this really? door they keep open yeah nice yeah is that uh, where you got your dick sucked uh, no this is in the east village and then we uh God. How how Woody Allen, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I just, you know, she's got a dick, but she understands my. That's her flaws. That, that she has you know, you're joking, but that's literally, I would say, what forty percent of your relationships? What? <laughs> she's got a dick, but she understands me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you Sixty. Did you pay some, a trans hooker to fucking eat pancakes with you or something? No. <laughs> Eventually, yes. <laughs> what I, I, no, I, you paid her in pancakes. Yeah. I they should make a movie about your life called Please Leave Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, please leave. <laughs> what was it? You went to a dot? You didn't have I, money? I didn't have... I thought that I had access to all of my money uh-huh. in my account, but after you use your card so much, it locks you out. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, you, you know how call you, up your guy. You know, the fucking spending limit is like $3,000 a day. I had it to a lot lower so uh, i could because of so behavior. i could like you're at the bank of alcohol <laughs> so i could cut curb. off curb my my thing yeah. so i wouldn't black out you like, you, you bank it well whiskey fargo <laughs> <laughs> there he is all right um, and uh yeah no i i didn't have enough i was like call your guy we're getting blow we're getting a room we're fucking and uh i could only get out like a hundred dollars <laughs> and so i was like here's the thing <laughs> and so i was like i could get you food do you want to eat at a diet her afterwards and she was just so disappointed and uh really she did you fuck made fun of my dick um <laughs> she told me i had a little she dick was, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she, was, she was back <laughs> that is a really shit that's, a big old dick. that is fucking yeah. the horrible customer service. Yeah, i know that's like I the know. experience I'm, go- I'm going through with my bank right now <laughs> they made fun of you amalgamated dick. yeah they made fun of my dick and then they sent me my debit card a month and a half later <laughs> that's so good she had a much yeah. bigger dick than you and had. i was really trying to like so what's where where are you from she's like brazil <laughs> she just was not into the conversation <laughs> at all that we were having up a prostitute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> while we're eating eggs You're at like four in the morning fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. do you want to come to a show she's like no <laughs> <laughs> You're the best, Ian. Holy shit. Uh, Man, yeah. this is such a fun story. That's Probably great. the funnest story. It, Ian makes me feel like a piece of shit about even like considering calling myself an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> you have had some hilarious... Yeah. Ian's had some hilarious times. Some halfway, hey, some fun yeah. halfway home stories. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, you know what's funny? When I met Ian, when I met Ian, I was like exactly at like two and a half years sober or something. And we met at like Stand Up New York or something. And uh, like we started talking about sobriety and he was like, yeah, I've got like a week and a half. I was like, oh, good for you. And he was like, yeah, I had time before that. And I was like, how long? He's like two and a half years. And then I was like, oh, fuck, like yeah, it yeah, didn't yeah. happen to me or whatever. And then I was like, well, like what happened? Like, you know, I was like fascinated. Yeah. I'm like, what happened? And you fell off the wagon. He's like, ah, you know, I was just at the airport and I was bored. So I, just- <laughs> <laughs> I got a beer at the bar. <laughs> Is that real? Is that what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell him, yeah. tell him what happened after that. Yeah, well, I, I, uh, I was actually working at a so, halfway house. <laughs> so wait, so like, you're at the airport. Not only was I like losing my sobriety, but I was losing my job. Oh my <laughs> I was God. just like, don't care. Wait, wait, you're at the airport going where? What's the? Uh, I was going uh, out on the road. Okay, and uh, <laughs> I ended up getting whacked, and I almost missed my flight because I went to another <laughs> airport bar to fill up my drink thing with beer because you can bring it onto the flight and then, Jesus uh, Christ. yeah i like pissed myself a little bit on the flight and uh just like was like oh, i think it's just water and then you think you just pissed water <laughs> no i just like water that came myself out of that it wasn't bad yet and then uh you know for for two weeks it was real real touch and go and then on the way back you know, you drink. So you're just out on the road for just two like, weeks. Like you're just drinking. You're drinking. And oh, then, so uh, you were going on the road, and you're like, I want to get fucked up on the road. Yeah, was that was going on. Right. Yeah, and and uh, and I, on the way back, I had to meet up with my my ex girlfriend was picking me up, and I couldn't. Why? The because she loved me, and uh, she was your ex. At the time? No, no, no. Oh, no. Did, she, did she also have a bigger dick than you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Maybe that's why you keep falling off the wagon is you keep fucking women with bigger dicks than you. Yeah, yeah. I got to find a little dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trans- a little dick princess. A little, 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 dick, little dick Cinderella. <laughs> you put a put golden on, golden baby a condom on her. Put a golden baby yeah. condom. 
<laughs> and then Miss, you, you left this in my ass. And then, it, <laughs> and then at midnight, you turn back into a heterosexual. <laughs> midnight, get out of here. <laughs> you disgust me. <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, dude, it, it just, it fucking sucks. No matter how much you drink, it's like not enough. And then you, you like... Uh, don't even think you just like I don't care I just want to get fucked up and on the bus on the way to her place I tried to get to uh, the airport bar it was closed <laughs> so I went on a you bus tried to go to the airport bar after you landed yes that's incredible yes. that is and, beautiful and I also stole a bottle of wine on the plane <laughs> And and in my mind, I was like, I'm better than all these people. And I took the wine and I was drinking it by the bathroom. And I looked out at everyone like being normal. And I was like, yeah, fucking idiots. Look at, look at that. <laughs> and so then I found, I I knew I was going to see her. And I was like, uh, but she's not going to have booze at her place. So I just fucking uh, started drinking hand sanitizer in the fucking what? bus. Yeah, dude. Two weeks? That's not the plan. <laughs> yeah. I know. That's why it's alcoholism, dude. It's like you, not. That a, is crazy. That is insane. It's like, and, and I didn't plan on that's it. That's top it level thing alcoholic, like, dude. Yes. Yeah, so that's why it's like the next time that I'm shooting heroin into my right. dick. Yeah, 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 like yeah. It's For not sure. going to be like a good thing. You're yeah. drinking <laughs> hand sanitizer. Yeah, we just uh, yeah. give Adam a second to explain why he doesn't have stories like that. I miss being on the podcast so much. Shut guys. up. It's not what he asked you. If you want to play catch with me and Nick, we'll be at Herbert Von King Park. Herbert practicing Von King baseball. Park, practicing mm -hmm. baseball. I'm going to be I'm, He doesn't play pepper? 19. We got baseball practice. We got, we'll, we're going to be getting. I'll hit some balls to you guys. I'm a good coach. Um, I think we're good, just the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll, be, I'll be in the park cruising. Yeah. We'll see you in the park. Yeah, yeah I think we're okay. Just <laughs> be like, what's up, bro? <laughs> oh, hey, guys. Didn't see you there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to throw some bowls around? I, I'm gay comedian Ian Fidens. <laughs> it must have been nice when that was what being gay was, was going to the park all the time. Mm -hmm. I still mm -hmm. The do park's it. nice. Do you ever cruise at the park? Yeah, I cruise. The park, really? The park Cruising's fun. How do you know how to cruise? <laughs> do you say you have gay sex in like public bathrooms and kind of built into you, you know? <laughs> you can tell. You Even can tell. DNA. Some, you can tell if someone else is cruising. <laughs> yeah, dude. How can you tell? It's eye contact, a look, a feel. A you touch. ever gotten it wrong? This gay guy hit on me at bar, but like clearly, like he was new to being gay. It was like some nerdy gay guy was uh. at this bar one time. We were both waiting for the bathroom, and he's like drunk as shit, and. Uh, like, he looks at me, and he's like, oh, you got the same shirt. <laughs> and, like, we both had, like, brown shirts with stripes on them, but they like, clearly weren't the same yeah, shirt. I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah, I guess, or whatever. And he's like, looks at me, he's like, um, do you want to, like, get out of here? <laughs> and I was like, excuse You're me? You're like, yes. And I was like, excuse me? And he goes... Uh, do you uh, do you want me to get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's... Yeah. laughs> Have you, Ian, you ever get it really wrong? Think someone's cruising for gay sex, but they're like just trying to enjoy the park. Oh, I got turned down the other day by cruisers, by fellow cruisers, by a yeah. cruiser, yeah. or just by a guy that's like, oh, so just... some depraved homosexual was trying to suck cock in a bathroom stall. Oh, is it a glory hole? <laughs> You got turned down at a glory hole. Where are the glory yeah. holes? Wait, shut up. Are you Where serious? Yeah. <laughs> wait, you wait, yeah. your dick got turned down. Not no, even the no, rest no. of you. I didn't you. pull my dick out yet, but I Wait, did. your mouth got turned down? No, no, no. We didn't get to the fucking hole yet. That's the whole point of a glory of hole. hole. Now, there's a misconception about glory holes. What the fuck is you meet the guy and then you, you, you see you, it, you, you look him in the eyes, you and make then you eye contact, you give each other a little nod, and then you go into your little chamber. And you uh, and then you stick it in the the hole. I would think that defeats you the don't whole just, purpose. You don't just go in. Some people go in willy nilly and just wait. I thought that's the point. I don't just stick my dick into anything. I like to kind of know yes, you do. who it is on the other side. 100. No, I got standards, motherfucker. I'm a fucking <laughs> New York ten. <laughs> no, right? You're so <laughs> ugly, dude. New York eight. <laughs> you're ugly. I'm as a shit. fucking handsome American. <laughs> just admit you're ugly. It's fine. <laughs> I'm a fucking. I'm ugly. It's New York no seven, deal. Delaware ten, fucking glory hole twenty. <laughs> You're out of right? your mind. Well, that not apparently not, motherfucker. You can't even get your dick sucked in a glory well, hole. Well, this fucking Nigerian was out of his mind. Right? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <That's> totally <laughs> wrong. Where was this glory hole? Uh, you can be twenty first and eighth. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to fucking twenty first and eighth. Where's that? Chelsea? Yeah, yeah. They got them all. An around. old Chelsea glory hole. A any Sounds porno classic shop you see, gay. they got them in the back. Really? Yeah. Every yeah, porno good, shop. It's a good slice. I of feel old like New you York. don't see <laughs> porno shops anymore. Oh, they got them. How old are you in? 
I'm 33. Hilarious. About Damn. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> you look how old I am. <laughs> Remember when you said you were an eight? What did you say? That you were hot? Do you still believe that? Or yeah, have you dude. come to your senses? Every fucking day. <laughs> I fucking believe it. I get fucking hotter by the minute, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you believe this is the best, dude, that you actually truly believe that. Yeah. yeah. How many how many <clears throat> rings are you wearing right now? Uh, four. You're wearing four rings. Five if you include the cock ring. Nice. <laughs> Every time I see you, I feel like you're wearing another ring. Yeah, I just got a new one. It's a yeah. woman fingering herself, and it says pleasure is power. No, is it, it really? Uh huh. Where'd you get you're it? You're not actually wearing that as a ring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come I on, got dude. it. That sucks. From this artist. That sucks, His name's Leah Ball. <laughs> that sucks dick, dude. Shut up, Ian. <laughs> Who's going to die in Mike. a second? Mm. <laughs> Were you looking for a big laugh for that one, dude? I'm the know. sister. Let's ask your balls. <laughs> Ian said, let's ask your balls. Then he held the microphone to my balls, guys. He's doing physical bits. <laughs> You're not on stage, Ian. <laughs> you can't hide your horrible writing with fucking dumb physical tics. <laughs> oh, were you at Funny Moms this week? Huh? Ian was at the live show? No. Is that yeah. what you're saying? No, what the fuck, Adam? I'm making I was fun confused, of you. Sorry. I'm making fun of him for bombing generally, not at a specific show. That wasn't show. a bomb. C- c- shut up, stop. Making fun of Ian. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, good. Adam, you need to <laughs> settle down. <laughs> you need to settle down. You're being Fredo right now. All right? I'm not Fredo, dude. You I'm the to, sister. You, I'm the sister who keeps getting beaten by her alcoholic you are husband. Her. You're her and Fredo, actually. I'm you're Michael. A, you're Fredo, Adam. You're not Michael, Ian. You're not even in the family. <laughs> yeah. You're, uh... I'm Tom Hagen. Today is my daughter's wedding. Uh Uh-huh. That's good. Keep going. What else, dude? (laughs) Does anyone need a favor? (laughs) (laughs) That's really good, man. That's good, dude. That's a good brand. I would like to do a favor for anyone. (laughs) Godfather has to be, like, the easiest impression to do. (laughs) You're so far off. You're so not even anywhere near close. You do it. You do it. To a Marlon Brando impression. You do it. I mean, I can approximate it. Do it. You come to me on this the day of my daughter's yeah, wedding. Yeah, it's higher. Yeah, it's like at that. least you, sort of there. All right, here, I'll do it for real. I'll do it for real. <clears throat> you come to me the day on my daughter's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> what is he, fucking Chinese and retarded also? <laughs> to come to me today on the day of my daughter's <laughs> wedding. Ah, uh, you come to me on my daughter's <laughs> wedding day. <laughs> there we go. Let's get different. Now we're getting into the meat of the show. Different types of the Godfather. Ah, oh, you you want a favor? <laughs> <laughs> why can't we my daughter birthday? You come to me and say, why can't why can't we go? Why, why can't I have extra? It's like why we all don't do that. <laughs> That's you right. have never you have never even come to dinner and now you ask me for these? Oh why? You want favor free laundry? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Putting the button on it. There it is. There it classic. Is. Literally, Woo! that was Ooh. that was three seconds. He couldn't wait. <laughs> he couldn't even just yeah. wait. We were gonna start talking, Ian. You didn't even give us time to talk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Before you started sweating. <laughs> Pull the ripcord now. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Speaking of the old West and gay being gay, Ian, did you ever see Brokeback Mountain? Do you think that's a good movie? Nah, bro, I lived it. You lived it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I thought it was pretty Just boring. Just because you beat off in public with a cowboy hat on doesn't mean you lived Brokeback Mountain, <laughs> Ian. <laughs> Have you ever had sex with a cowboy hat on, Ian? Uh, no, I've never fucked Dustin Chaffin. Have you ever put... Good one. A lot of people know who Dustin is, man. <laughs> Thank you. Um, have you ever... <laughs> Have you ever, uh, have you ever like dressed up or worn a costume to fuck? What? No. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yes. What do you mean, like role play? You think People that, that. the Just way you fuck. He dresses all up of, and wears a costume to leave his hat. Every day. You're <laughs> that's right. what he fucking looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it's an absurd appearance. Do you ever take your glasses, nose, and mustache off to fuck all in one fell swoop? Shut up, you fucking toothless monster. No, I haven't Man. ever Come put on hey, a costume. Hey. Oh, what I didn't even hey, realize dude. you were wearing a mighty, mighty boss tone shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Are you judging Can me? Can you apologize? That's wow, I didn't know you like sell out stuff. <laughs> 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 oh, that was so much funnier than anything I was going to say on this episode. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> hey. 
<laughs> Hats off to you. Yeah. Hey, thank you. No, I missed it. Yeah, no, I missed he, it too. He earned his. Uh, what is it called when you stripes? Yeah, when you're, wor- when you're a uh, valuable asset. <laughs> when you're when you're when you're uh, making up for the fact that you're holding a microphone and taking up precious air. <laughs> 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 what no, what did I've you never, say? I, I've never uh, put the, put the mic closer said, to your I fucking. Said I, I didn't realize you were wearing a mighty mighty Boston shirt. Mm-hmm. And he said, are you making fun of me? Because that's the impression. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, oh, yeah. Nice, man. Uh, no, I've never fucking dressed up. And I, I'm just a regular dude that just likes regular fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, sex. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's just me. All, all right. right. Let me <laughs> rephrase then. Rephrase. Have you ever ate a trans uh, sex worker's ass after drinking rubbing alcohol? Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Oh, uh, yeah, he's already said he has. No. Well, that's what I'm saying. He acted like I said something ridiculous. No. That he might I wear fucking a fucking drank, little hat. I fucking drank hand sanitizer and then went home to my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> right? Because I couldn't be with myself. What's her name? Okay? What's, what's she do? What's like her first and last name? And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's dox her. Yeah. No, dude. I, uh, what you call it? No, I, I never dressed up <laughs> or anything. <laughs> Could you imagine, like, being, being someone's boss? <laughs> being like, uh, I'm not he'd be the boss best boss, time. dude. Yeah. He'd you be could the best. just get, get one over on him all the time. Every hey, single time. Hey, fuck you. For sure. That, For that'd sure. be me as a boss. <laughs> He's like, no. Hey, fuck you. Hey, I'm running late, Ian. No big deal. I'll do all your work. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Don't worry about coming in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Are you all right? all right? Take the whole day off. Yeah. Oh, yeah you're here, do you need money? Sick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll float you $20. I was a boss one time. Where? At uh, for a construction company <laughs> for a, for a door to door home estimate thing. You had to go and get people to sign up for free estimates for canvassing. That's not that's not a real job. Yeah, I was in charge of a crew of people going around being like, "Hey, we're in the neighborhood. Uh, do you guys need your roof checked out?" Oh, really? And yeah. then you just give them an estimate that was like, "Yeah, bullshit." Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it was like a door-to-door bullshit. So thing. it was like a low estimate, and then they'd actually start working, and then you'd jack up the prices? What was the scam? The scam was that you'd tell them that someone's going to be in the neighborhood doing work, and it's no big deal to swing by to like give them an estimate or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it was right around the time Obama did that uh, mm, energy classic. credit. Obama. Yeah. It was like, uh, if you get windows, roofing, or siding, you get like a tax credit to get, like, construction going in the economy, which was, like, great. But it was so funny doing it in fucking Wilmington, Delaware, and having, like, old white dudes answer the door and be like, the reason I don't have money is because of fucking Obama. <laughs> it was, like, 2009. <laughs> it was like, he just got yeah. in office. Like, you've been fucking up your money for years. <laughs> How was it being a boss? Uh, it sucked. Who I didn't like it. Yeah. I had to fire a friend of mine. Wow. And it sucked. What did he do? She, she What'd like she didn't show up to work and then I like handled it so bad. We, she like, <laughs> I had her coming to work and we like drove to a site and I was like, and she's like, okay, you ready to go? I was like, yeah, well about that. <laughs> like yeah, you yeah. made her come in and then she had to walk home. It was like, no, no, no. Bus? And then we like drove back. I, I, I didn't know how to handle it. I was like fucking like a month sober. It fucking sucked. Oh wow. But I was like making so much fucking money. I paid off my DUI. It was fucking great. <laughs> 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 Hell yeah, dude. How'd you get that DUI in the first place? I parked in the middle of a four-lane highway. <laughs> parked? In the police station. My right foot was on the brake. My left foot was out the window, and the car was in drive. <laughs> I had a fish fillet in the front seat. <laughs> and when the cop Good pulled me God. out of my car, I asked him how he got inside my apartment. <laughs> I got in the police station. I just started puking everywhere. And... Uh, <laughs> They were like, look, you got to get, I, I was like four months sober and I, like re- it was my first time oh, drinking. Yeah, yeah. I like relapsed and they were like, Hey, get someone to pick you up. I was like, throw me in jail. I deserve it. They're like, no, <laughs> man, just, <laughs> we don't want you to go to jail. I was like, do it. I deserve it. <laughs> really? And, yeah. Yeah. And then like my lawyer gave me a three page letter of like all the evidence against me. And at the bottom <laughs> of the thing, he goes, as the saying goes, your history, I'll see you in court. <laughs> What? Damn! Wait, who said who? Wrote your lawyer said lawyer. that about you. Yeah, he said you're I, I had like so much evidence against me to like go to uh-huh. even try saying not guilty was right, just right, like the right. dumbest thing yeah. in the world. You so pr- I had to get a breathalyzer on my car, and I <laughs> I had already moved into a halfway house, so like that helped me nice. out a lot. And mm-hmm. then uh, did the breathalyzer thing keep breaking because you tried sucking it off? 
Uh, yeah, no, but I, I, had, I had a lot of practice. <laughs> the, air, the airflow wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> You're too good at this. <laughs> 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 boop, 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 boop. Less tongue. <laughs> 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 I thought it was a robot's penis. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, that's fucking hilarious. You're dumb as shit, Ian. Yeah. And Ian was there too. Ian yeah, was there. Yeah, Ian briefly. came in. He was pretty good there at the yeah. end. Yeah. Ian who? Uh, Ian was Fry there at the beginning. No, Ian no. Uh, Edwards. To write something. God no. damn. No. Yeah. We had Ian him come in, in to yeah. deliver our yeah. lunch. No? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he still fucks it up. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, this is a paper bag filled with cum. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my bad. This is my it. lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I brought my lunch by accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get special Capri Suns filled with the semen. <laughs> yeah, my boyfriend slash girlfriend fills them up with semen. <laughs> uh, it's like a Capri Sun ad for like Ian's cum Capri Sun. <laughs> he drinks it and then he just like turns into like a kid who has a dad and then he's like st standing outside of the skate park watching everyone have fun in the half bike. Great all Just looking through the the chain link fence. Man, I wish I was good at something. It'd be funny if uh, Ian became an Orthodox Jew and started sucking men off through a hole in the mm -hmm. sheet. That would be good. <laughs> There's so yeah. many good. There's so many good options for Ian to be gay as a different version of himself. <laughs> he's like the oldest, youngest looking person. I know. I've ever yeah. seen yeah. in my life. Yeah, he's 37. Yeah. He's years ageless. Old. Yeah. <laughs> um, fuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is kind of a an enigma. Right. Mm -hmm. He's he's a cool guy. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a cool guy. But... Good dude. Oh uh, my my daughter who's 11. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Kate's daughter who's. 11 the they came the we room. were going on a gig so and ian was there and it's the first time i met him was so we're driving to spring where was it? fairfield mm. and uh those two fucking kids t tore him oh my god <laughs> he got bullied by 11 year old girls it was <laughs> like at one point i took him aside and i was like when well, they turn were around and, you turn around and ian's just explaining to two 11 year old girls it's like yeah, but if the dick is on a girl, it's not gay. Right. I mean, like, no. you can't it say that they weren't that. my girlfriend. I'm not girlfriend. kidding. It was like... <laughs> no, it didn't. They, they, for, it started off where... The sucking dick feels good. I don't know. What do you want me to say? They were like... They're like, we're in fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing they said to him, I think, was, "Are you a crack addict?" And it just went from there. It was, it was bad. Holy fucking then they shit. somehow got his phone number, and they were like, kept texting him in the car. They were texting him, yes, just totally harassing him. He showed those texts to Nikki, and I think I think that's why she put him on the show. Oh, she was wow. like, "I feel sorry for this guy." <laughs> <laughs> He's been bullied by eleven-year-old girls. <laughs> yeah, I had to take him aside and be like, "You guys, cut it out." He's, yeah. gonna... <laughs> He's gonna cry. <laughs> now, at one point, he was like, "Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone!" <laughs> That's yeah, so. Yeah. Funny. Fucking good. That's amazing. Thank I love you. Ian. Uh, he's, he's so funny. He's the funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Just like taking L's to that degree is <laughs> his whole life. His whole life has just been such a tragedy. It's so weird that they knew immediately they that this was a guy. Yeah. Like they set they yeah. smelled it out. They were like, we can take this. Absolutely. Guy. <laughs> you just look he's just got these twinkly eyes. You're like, Yeah, I'm gonna take yeah. advantage of this man. In yeah, some things way. have been going real bad lately. <laughs> yeah. Well you see, Ian took some huge L on Twitter a couple weeks ago. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, 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 that girl. Yeah, that, yeah, that girl's Dasha's friend. That's yeah. so. It was so. Funny. She dragged I mean, Ian, him. <laughs> Ian could be dragged every. Tweet I mean, every he tweet ever is yeah. just he has disaster. the worst. Yeah, he's the worst the account on Twitter yeah, yeah, <laughs> by far. I wonder real quick. He let's takes see. every. Let's see what the last he takes thing. every position. Yeah, 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 right. He like he's like it's the liberals and the conservatives, man. Let's but we're all at... losing our minds over here, brother. That's the thing is like he's like the classic shitty 
comedian like like Lewis Black. Yeah, well, yeah. no, no, yeah, no, the, no. The, the, Like, have you ever considered that everybody's wrong except me? Of course, yeah. I'm yeah, somehow yeah, yeah, elevated yeah. beyond this discussion that I have not thought about or <clears throat> haven't yet for a second looked into. Thought about. Yeah, beyond like I'm going to try and write a joke about <laughs> this. I can't. Well, I guess I'll just be better than it. Well, he hasn't tweeted anything. He's just been retweeting. Yeah, because he got he got, he got owned, owned yeah, so by that girl, see, Kristen. Let's see what the last thing he tweeted was. Hey, gang, listen, we're all racial. The human racial. Oh, my God. Oh, my fuck. That's just the last thing he tweeted. I wasn't even looking for a bad one. I saw that's, some that's one a real, and it was that's like some a real black one? and white headshot of an old like white guy with like a white beard. Or uh-huh, uh-huh. He says, friend, there's only one gender. The human gender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. What? This is the la- This is the next one. Again, I'm not even trying to pick bad ones. Hannah Gadsby made a speech about good men calling out bad men, but uh-huh. they themselves not being good. Already beautiful for start. It's time to be honest. I shit with the door open. Sometimes I steal flowers from the cemetery. I hit other people's kids on subway. But I do not catcall. So deep down, I good man, Hannah. What, he doesn't do any of this. That's things. not a point. And he doesn't do those things. I steal flowers from the cemetery. <laughs> to what? He goes to a he cemetery. So fucking to steal stupid, flowers. man. That's him. That's his to idea of like bad dude, things. He thinks yeah, yeah. Every every tweet, every time he tweets, he thinks he's Bukowski. He's awesome. Like I he love thinks this he's like a subversive artist. He's so good. Yeah. Like a drug that, guy. The pen one is the best. That one. Oh, yeah. like, Republicans are only supposed to attack women with pen in legislation. Pen in legislation? <laughs> pen in <and> legislation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Disaster. Idiot. That's so classic dumb but now motherfucker our fans, trying to sound smart. <laughs> but now our fans are going <laughs> to... No, they're not. Yes, Whatever. they are. This is no, Ian's look, whole thing. That's dude. Ian's like... I guess Ian so. is the king of taking L's, dude. Yeah, he's the best at it. He's the, he's he's the best. He's, he's successful best. Yeah. by he's, losing right. constantly. He's like uh, an absolute fucking tragedy. <laughs> Everything about that guy is a fucking disaster. And it was set in motion 25 years ago. Yes. It's not his in fault. In a certain train yard where I'm not going to say what happened. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but I, yeah, that's just like, that's Ian's thing. And that's great. I love him. Well, everyone. I love him too. He's hilarious too. At, as a hang. He's the best. And then like, have you ever done poppers? I have. Yes. yes. Yeah. And you know how it like makes you like. I remember for your boring, birthday you know, we were doing popper seconds. stuff. Were we for my birthday? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. When I was on acid, when you were on acid. <laughs> I was on acid, just fucked you up doing poppers, poppers. On acid. Oh yeah. I used to do coke and computer duster. Hell yeah, dude. Delaware, <laughs> the Delaware oh, speedball, the Delaware special. <laughs> it was a hippie crack in a basement. <laughs> Having to tell my mom we were wrestling. That's why there was a hole in the wall because my friend's head went through it. <laughs> yeah, oh, we're just adults wrestling, Bob. Yeah. We weren't on drugs. We weren't having gay sex. Yeah, yeah we what's the scariest place sex? you've ever been doing drugs? What's the what's the place that you've like opened your eyes actually like and had a sober moment and been like how did I end up here? And that like Arabian prince's boat at the end of taken. <laughs> Dressed up as a jester tasting some fat guys cum. Well, I, I woke up in I woke up in like some Australian man's lower east side like mansion oh, apartment nice. with like plants and waterfalls and everything. What? Yeah, yeah, and I like woke up naked and I was like how Just the, the gay version of Jeffrey I- Epstein. Get yeah. here. Just some Australian guy yeah <laughs> i was like how did i get here he's like well last night the pizza shop you dared me that i couldn't fuck you in the ass so I took you home. <laughs> and i was like did you he's like no you came home you puked got naked and fell asleep in my bed i was like well time for me to leave you didn't even give this well, guy some boy like pussy, out dude. of some sex no i just wow, i just that's need rude. a place to stay <laughs> So yeah. you you were ready to well, fuck for shelter? A, he didn't give. I up think I was ready to fuck for pizza, <laughs> for pizza or shelter. Yeah, but yeah, I, I just like woke up and left. I was like, "What's the dude? Fuck why did you leave? He was a, he had a mansion in the Lower East Side. I know. That could have been, been your, that been been your really husband. Man. Yeah, you could you should have married this motherfucker, dude. Well, that one time I, I came days. out of a blackout and I was at this dude's place. I met him at the cock. You ever yep. get the cock? I have not. They just gave up with that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the gaped asshole. Yeah, 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 yeah. AIDS. <laughs> uh, fucking, and the dude uh, was like giving me coke, and I was telling him that I could like 
read a script and get it get it, get like, it put yeah. on TV. Yeah, yeah, of course. And it was called Lower East Side Ballers. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could find it. My email was the worst thing I've ever that read. That sounds awesome, dude. Yeah, it was terrible. Like athletes? And then and then he, no, he asked like for like guys. 50 bucks for Coke, and I gave him a five and thought I was like slick, and he chased me down the street and was like, oh, sorry, I messed up. <laughs> Gotta nice. go home for Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> and you just didn't give him the 45? No, I did. You did? I felt bad. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. you know what's wild? So I'm uh, doing like a um, comedy after school mentor program up in the Bronx. Uh -huh. and it's, oh. at, it's at the same school. <laughs> I, it's at the same school I quit teaching at four years ago. Wow. Randomly, isn't that wait? Are cool? you are you still um, hosting the uh, the talent show for my drug and alcohol center? Your, yeah. <laughs> uh, I did that in the pit this year. I couldn't, but I am going to the lunch today and bringing clothes. Nice. But wait, it was I don't think you ever, ever described it on the pod, but it's so funny. Did I tell you about that? Just like all these guys whose backs are broken by heroin, like doing their oh, talents. Dude, one guy, the whole entire left side of his body was paralyzed and he was trying to play the drums to his girlfriend. Like, like Adam just ran up. Adam shitting himself. <clears throat> Anyways, actually, you know what? I had to give a pair of Macworld underwear to Ian the other day, mm. and he loved them, and it was because he came over to my apartment to hang out <laughs> and shit himself <laughs> on the way to my house, <laughs> and then had the audacity to come out of the bathroom. And pretend he didn't. Yeah, well, no, not pretend that he didn't. He tried to throw his underwear away in my kitchen oh, trash just can. shit? Yeah, with they, shit all over with them. With shit all over them. <laughs> Just, your kitchen is smelling like a man. Right. shit. That was his plan. <laughs> was to throw it away in there. I was like, no, you got to put those outside. What a fucking piece of shit, dude. Yeah. But then have the audacity to be like, you should be getting out more, man. It's like, no, you should be learning the basic stuff you need to learn before you go out. Like not shitting. Don't sh a, don't shit yourself on the way. B, don't try and keep the soiled shit underwear in a common right. area in the home. So uh, we had to set him up with a pair of Mack Weldon. And he loves them. Because Mack Weldon is about the basics. The basics like so not true. shitting yourself. That's right. They're the best pair of underwear to get if you've just graduated from diapers at mm -hmm. age 34. That's right. And, or uh, if your asshole has been ravaged so much that right. a bike ride if, to your friend's house to yeah, play poker if, if causes you, you to shit yourself. If you're fast and loose from playing it fast and loose, <laughs> you'll love Mack Weldon underwear. <laughs> Oh man, Ian was bombing the other night. <laughs> Last night, he's, right? he's like, "Cause you know, I like a translating." Boom shakalaka. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody says anything. Well, he also said like <sighs> incredible that, stuff. That clip you sent us, he said uh, <laughs> a lot of my trans friends, and I was thinking about, it, I was like, "You don't actually have. Yeah, they're not. You just friends. have people yeah, that yeah. you pay to have yeah. sex with. They're, they're not your friends. They're your clients. Yeah, <laughs> you're their client. Yeah. Right. <laughs> a friend isn't somebody whose old name is just in your phone as Backpage Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> I think all that shit is down now. By the way. Yeah. Oh, you think you don't know mm -hmm. firsthand? No, yeah. I don't. I have a girlfriend. I don't yeah, have to still. solicit prostitutes anymore. Oh, uh, I don't know about that, man. Mm. We caught you. Found well, you me and Nick were fucking prostitutes together. Yeah. Because what me and Nick do is we hold hands and we fuck a prostitute. Yeah. I, l I would love to do that. Would you? Yeah, that'd be fun. We <laughs> like going to laser tag. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ian, f uh, fill us in with your dating life, buddy. How's it going since the last time you've been here? Oh, man. I wonder story. Are you sucking and fucking left and right? Oh, man. Someone told us right a story up, yeah. about you shining a flashlight into a trans or maybe just a regular hooker's asshole to make sure it was clean. Uh, that's wildly inaccurate. It was. <laughs> well, hold on. A hooker. Wildly? It was, yeah. It was, I'm sorry. Hold on. It's, yeah. It was not a hooker. That's the first wild inaccuracy. It was not a hooker. Okay. It was a gentleman I met off Tinder <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> named Timothy. <laughs> It was in a one-hour rental hotel motel room. It was. And I'm a bit of a germaphobe. <laughs> you know, I like to play safe. Before we uh, dove in, I wanted to make sure he didn't have any markings. <laughs> you know, any markings of the beast. Oh, wow. It was very awkward having a man on all fours while I was expecting him like a gay gynecologist. <laughs> you, were <laughs> you literally just ass. looked into his asshole for cleanliness. Uh-huh. It yeah. wasn't. Okay. Yeah. Did he pass I would the love test? that if he that's what they the call test. proctologists is gay gynecologists. <laughs> <laughs> if, that was, if that was the name of that medical gay profession. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an H-O-M-O-B-G-Y. <laughs> oh, shit. 
Yeah. Yeah. Who, yeah. T- who told you that, Evan? I don't remember. I think it was me. Because oh, you yeah. told me that. Uh, yeah. The flashlight thing. I think it, I probably conflated that and the story about the hooker in the, like, whatever that hotel was near, in Inglewood, near LAX. Oh, so yeah. You got a hotel. Story, right? Yeah. That was bad. That's, what um, was that? Nakano Lodge? Yeah, it was next to some abandoned like laundromat that I thought she was in, and yeah. I'm like knocking on the door, and it was the wrong one. You were just gonna fuck in an abandoned laundromat? I mean, I was at a bad place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but today, I'm not living that life. What I want to act out, I this was like four weeks ago. Yeah, this was, it was not... a couple days ago. <laughs> it was before I got here. Literally, how long ago was it? Ah, a couple months ago. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. <laughs> <laughs> We're all works in progress, hey, right? Man, hey, whatever. We're all working on you know, it, you know? You know. If yeah. it ain't booze and drugs, it's fucking, you know, motel hookers. And uh, yeah. today I'm not doing it. Yeah. So you're clean yeah. on everything? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, man. Is it a real struggle? Wait, why are you quitting trans people, though? I'm not quitting that, trans people. I'm quitting prostitutes. That's kind of transphobic to equate trans people with your horrific alcoholism and cocaine mm-hmm. abuse. No, it's not. Y- yeah, it is. No, you're wrong. They're human beings. Mm, not to they're not a problem. <laughs> not to, not to Ian. They're fuck toys. Yeah, they're little fuck toys. I wind them up and fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, because it's an act of acting out. Like when something goes bad, or or I feel a certain way, I start like going on the fucking internet or whatever, and I'm I'm quit cutting that out because that's like some form of escapism. And uh, escapism? If, it, if it wasn't that, it was I'd fucking go and use. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Have you ever Regular heard of? <laughs> Have you ever heard of PlayStation? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah, watching a movie. Yeah, no, I was going to buy a PlayStation, but I was like, no, I'm just going to read a book instead. Yeah, you know, what, you know what I do sometimes is I play Settlers of Catan with my friends. <laughs> Y'all not bitch, man. <laughs> yeah. So what? What? What's, what's the closest thing you have to a vice now? Coffee and cigarettes? You still smoke yeah. cigarettes? Yeah. Yeah, Ooh, Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I'm planning I'm going to quit that, but it's fucking hard. Yeah. Yeah, you but, can't quit everything at once. Dude. I know. You're going to have a tough. you're going to have a blowout. Oh yeah. I tried to do that when it, years ago when I got out of rehab. I was I was fucking working all the time. I was working for a company and then I I was doing side jobs on the weekend and I quit smoking, I quit coffee, I quit drinking, I quit drugs and I fucking passed out at work and had to go to the hospital. I just was like run up too much. I I'd, I'd pass out from exhaustion. Wait, wait, wait. You quit everything and you you were just you yeah, so, so instead yourself? of just like being normal, I threw myself into work. Gotcha. So I was working construction for a company, and then after work, I was doing side jobs. And on the weekend, gotcha. I was like tiling houses and shit. Because you didn't want to be alone for yeah. even a second with yeah, your thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Before you start dre- dreaming of beautiful, hey, man, golden it's a brown neighborhood up here, and everyone's an asshole. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't, don't. In, yeah. In, in, you also, know I mean? also, stop nobody knows your, what you mean. Yeah, no one knows what you mean. And stop <laughs> using your stand-up crutches on a podcast. Yeah. W- excuse you. <laughs> yeah. Stop making me pull out this mustache comb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you do that on stage? You pull no. out the mustache comb and no. start brushing you never your have? mustache. No, it, a couple <laughs> times, but no. <laughs> I've been taking walks outside, but just fucking dodging whoever I see. Yeah. I started running. I don't. I don't know. I haven't been going outside at all. I did one last Costco run, and uh, but other than that, I think it's like I've been getting mad at Ian because Ian's like posting all these videos of him riding his bike around, riding the train. He's like, "Look how empty it is. There's no one going around, touching everything." Fucking asshole. You know, it's like, <laughs> what you mean, like you? Yeah, it's you're like, the problem, right? And then, and then, well, he's like, "Don't you think it's important to document this stuff?" <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're gonna do it, Ian. Yeah, right. Fucking historian Ian yeah, Finance. Right, yeah. Documentarian Ian Finance, who's <laughs> posting them literally as disappearing Instagram stories. <laughs> he's not even documenting it. It's of all the ways you could do it, he's chosen the one way where it's it's not a, you're not even documenting it. You cannot document it right. by definition. He's like someone's got to go around on their bike listening to the Ramones, documenting all this stuff. <laughs> Look at these poles. Nobody's even licking them. <laughs> <laughs>